Required supplies include stockinette, one three inch soft roll, two three inch plaster slabs, and two two inch rolls of flannel. Measure an appropriate length of stockinette to ensure full coverage of the forearm. Cut a thumb hole at an appropriate point in the stockinette. Roll the stockinette onto the arm up to the elbow crease, avoiding bunching which could irritate the underlying skin after the plaster is applied. The wrist should be kept as close as possible to the desired final position throughout. The length of each plaster slab should equal approximately one inch less than the distance from the elbow crease to the palmer crease. Trim slabs as needed. Cut a figure of seven notch in one slab approximately one inch from the end of the plaster. Trim one corner off the second plaster slab. Begin wrapping soft roll distal to proximal, starting approximately two finger widths distal to the elbow crease. Wrap two layers of soft roll proximally, and then proceed distally overlapping by about 50%. Tension the soft roll throughout the wrap to avoid bunching. Wrap in a crisscross fashion around the hand and wrist, tearing soft roll while passing through the first web space. Ensure that there are two layers of soft roll on the hand, extending no further than the palmar crease to leave the metacarpophalangeal joints free. Tear off any excess material. Wet the notched plaster slab and apply it to the dorsal surface of the forearm and wrist. The thumb should be accommodated in the notch, with the small plaster appendage doubled over and passed through the first web space. Wet the second plaster slab, applying it to the volar surface with the thumb accommodated in the trimmed corner. Overlap the edges of the two plaster slabs to stick together when dry. Ensure that the skin is protected from direct contact with the plaster. Fold over any excess length proximally to ensure the plaster does not overhang the soft roll. Overwrap the plaster slabs with flannel from proximal to distal, overlapping by approximately 50%. Tension the flannel appropriately to prevent bunching, but avoiding excessive compression of the forearm. Wrap the wrist in hand, pinching through the first web space. Trim any excess material. Fold over stockinette proximally and distally. Finish the splint with a second layer of flannel wrapped in the same manner as previous. Mold the plaster to set in the desired position as dictated by the injury. The finished cast should allow excellent movement at the metacarpophalangeal joints, base of the thumb, and the elbow.